Okay, so uh, let's show uh, some examples. Our example is 261. Uh, the stock mounted on the late is subjected to a force of 60 newtons. Determine the coordinate direction angle beta and express the force as Cartesian vector. Now, the point is this, we have a force of 60 newtons. Now we are asked, we are given uh, 60 degrees uh, So the force makes an angle of 60 degrees between the coordinate axis x and makes a 30 degrees angle with the coordinate axis z and it makes an angle of beta with the y direction and we are asked for the uh, angle beta for it. Now remember something. So let's say that alpha is equal to 60 degrees in this case Now, beta is the question and gamma is given as 30 degrees. Now, remember that u, the unit vector, is cosine alpha i vector plus cosine beta j vector plus cosine gamma k vector. So this is the Cartesian uh, vector. Now, we know that the magnitude of u is 1. Right. This is unit vector. From here, we can easily write this expression. So this has to be equal to square root of cosine square alpha plus cosine square beta plus cosine square now if we take the square of it and take out the cosine beta from here we can easily write this expression so cosine beta is equal to square root of 1 minus cosine square alpha minus cosine square gamma. Now let's put the values into their places. So alpha is 30 degrees. So this is minus cosine 30. Of course the square of it. Minus cosine square 60 now this certainly gives us 1 minus 0 0.6 uh, 866 minus 0 0.5 of course, the square of these ones. And this gives us 
0. And from here, we can say that beta is equal to P divided by 2. Here, because of the randos, this is why it is very close to the zero. So this is why uh, I write this. Okay, now we know the angle beta. Now certainly I can write the force acting on it. So the force, the Cartesian F in Cartesian coordinates, F multiplied by U and as you remember the magnitude of the force is 60 as it is seen on the screen sixty multiplied by cosine alpha i so alpha is 60 degrees it makes 0 0.5 but certainly it is in negative direction and in fact uh, it is in negative z direction so it, this is minus I have a minus sign minus cosine alpha so um, alpha is 30 degrees right let me check it once more ah uh, no Uh, alpha is 60 degrees, sorry. Cosine 60. Uh, I vector. Minus, again, we have negative in Z direction. minus cosine 30 k vector so let me correct the unit vector here this is minus or yeah it doesn't matter let's let's remain it like this so this is my unit vector u Okay, so this is my expression. If you write the expression, cosine 60 is 0 0.5, so this makes minus 30 i vector. And minus 51 let me calculate it once more
51 point or better write it down minus 30i minus 51.96 k vector so this is the force in cartesian form